Right, so. Press start, press start. There you go. Let's leave that running. And see how long until it overheats. Right, so long time now see when it comes to doing reviews and stuff. I uh, I want to do a quick test on the new DJI Osmo Nano in relation to its overheating or alleged overheating. Um, as you can see, I have actually just been picked this up from Argus. Uh, paid for it with my own money this is not sponsored I have never been sponsored I'm not a big enough channel to be sponsored and I just want to test what it does now I've used the go series the insta go series for quite a few years I've got the go 3s which I've just recently sold I really like DJI stuff I use the Osmo Action 5 Pro a hell of a lot I think it's a great camera for knocking around with can't wait for the new one to come out um, and I just thought because I like the ecosystem and the fact I've got the mic systems this would be a better option for me so I'm literally just gonna go off camera for a minute I bought some screen protectors for it I'm gonna open this up it's never been opened it's still sealed as you can see um, I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna put my screen protectors on and then we're gonna do a quick overheating test because Loads of people are saying that you get about 20, 25 minutes now. At the moment, I'm sitting in my living room. I've not got the central heating on. Luckily, it's not that cold at the moment. Temperature-wise, I'm not quite sure what the temperature is in here, but we'll find out. Alexa, what is the temperature in the living room? The living room temperature is 19.7 degrees. There you go. Temperature in the living room is 19.7 degrees according to Alexa. So I've set the camera up, I've registered it to my Mimo account. Um, just for future reference, if you're thinking of putting screen protectors on. So this little protector kit, which was a tenner off Amazon, and I know they do them on the DJI website as well. Um, I put the glass screen protector on that bit absolutely fine, but the ones that come for the lens are useless. The light little flimsy plastic things and I, I don't think one's gone on and quite frankly my hand shakes so much these days I really struggle so I've said before if you watch I really have to concentrate when I hold things um, I suffer with the thing called essential tremors it's a neurological disease it's not due to drinking or lack of sleep or anything like that to the point now I can't even change a watch battery anymore I have to get Lily to do it for me how sad um, so what I've done I've put the protector on because I'm assuming that's going to make it radiate less heat away so it'll overheat quicker if it does I'm going to just have it connected to the dock I'm going to put it on this little rubber stand I've got it on 4k 60 frames a second I don't normally record in 60 frames a second I normally record in 25 or 30 but we'll do it at the maximum rate and we'll test what the how long it takes for it to overheat I'll set the camera up pointing at it <clears throat> and then we'll we'll start it off I'll put a timer on my phone and uh, We'll see how long it takes if it actually overheats. Let's just double check the temperature. Alexa, what is the temperature in the living room? The living room temperature is 19.8 degrees. There you go, 19.8 degrees in here. Um, nice ambient temperature, obviously no airflow. It would be different if you're outside, I fully understand that. My first impressions are the camera, like with all DJI stuff, it's just 
really well made yes it's a lot bigger than the go 3s but i really like this um plastic this suction mount that it comes with that'd be great for in the car doing recordings and so on i'm really impressed with that um let's see how long it takes to overheat Right, so I nipped off for a bit and I've just come back and it stated device overheated. So I need to play that back and check on the timer. And we're at 16 minutes at the moment. And it says device overheated, recording stopped. Now, one thing to note, the back of that, is hot on a cold winter's day you could warm your hands up really well on the back of that that is warm to say the least right so i've played it back and it overheated at approximately 14 minutes it was 14 minutes 15 seconds but to allow for pressing buttons and everything else 14 minutes i got in the dock connected and that was running at 4k 60 frames a second so we're back now on 4k 30 frames a second let's start the timer so right we're away and it's telling me that I've only got 9 cent battery left on it's this one on the dock and uh, sorry so the bottom one is to the dock I've got nine minutes left but I've got over an hour well between the two an hour left which is plenty of time hopefully for the test it shouldn't be because it shouldn't overeat but we'll leave that running I'll go potter off and do some other stuff and hopefully catch it towards the end I'll come back in about 15 minutes and see if it's beat that time right Right, so we're on 15 minutes, 19 seconds now, and it's not overheated. And I am running at 25 frames a second, which would be the standard rate that I would normally film at. Obviously, if you were recording at 60 frames a second, you could slow it down 50% easily. I can understand why you'd want to record at 60 frames a second, because after all, it's got the ability the Go 3S will only record up to 4K 30 frames a second. This will do twice as much. Obviously, this will also do 120 frames a second proper slow mo, um, which it's not going to overheat on that because you're only going to be recording very small segments. right so it's just powered off saving files i've got six percent left on the base module nothing on the top and we were on 35 minutes approximately and it has not overheated on 25 frames a second right so there you have it a test of the overheating issues with the a new dj uh, dji osmo nano um so i got about 14 15 minutes on 60 frames a second on it and then i set it to 25 frames a second which is my usual recording amount and the battery ran out obviously well over half an hour recording um will i be sending this back no i bought it as a pov camera obviously just for doing when you're doing POV, I only do very short segments. Um, it's a really well-built 
as usual DJI piece of kit um, I will only be recording if I'm doing 60 frames a second literally minutes five minutes something like that nothing major um, but if I'm doing 25 frames a second what this shows me is especially outdoors I'm not going to have a problem it's approximately 20 degrees in here which what's that about 70 Fahrenheit something like that I believe if you uh, live in America and use that um, weird temperature setting which I don't understand in the slightest but being British we're a little bit backward I understand that at the end of the day um, obviously time lapse if it's set up it shouldn't overheat on a time lapse if I'm using um, high frame rates for slow mo, I'm only going to be recording for very short periods of time. It is disappointing that it will only record that long because there will be people that want to set this up on a tripod. And obviously, 60 frames a second, they'll perhaps want to record 20, 30 minutes. I'm not one of those people. So the overheating is not a problem for me. It's nowhere near as bad as the original um, DJI Osmo Action 2, I think it was, that they brought out. Um, I never brought that because of the overheating issues on it. Really nice looking camera, but obviously with this uh, new one, you can uh, unscrew the actual lens. So if you break the lens, you can take it off. You couldn't do stuff like that, obviously, on the Action 2. Um, the module... Yes, you can't play back your footage that you've recorded on this at the moment, but DJI is saying that that'll come out in a future firmware, which I don't think will be long off something like that. Do I think they rushed it to market due to the Insta Go Max or whatever it is? Yes, I think they did. Um, I really can't wait for the actual um, Osmo Action 6 to come out to see whether that is actually a full one inch sensor. I'm recording this on the Sony um, one inch sensor camera at the moment and it, it's brilliant for general recording absolutely brilliant so I'm really looking forward for that coming out I'm just going to power this up quickly and see if I can pair the remote to it and see how that works so the uh, Osmo Nano I can't see a way of pairing it with the remote in the um, settings i can't see anything at all in there it, you can set it to pair with the mic the dji mic mini and the mic 2 and the mic 3 but i can't see a way of pairing it with this at the moment and i've just checked on the uh, on the internet i can't see anything on there which is a shame but again i'm sure it's something that will come um Checking on the settings, I did not have the camera set to high bitrate. I had it set to standard bitrate, which in a way is worse because therefore if it was on high bitrate, it probably wouldn't have lasted what it did on 60 frames a second. On the 25 frames a second, obviously it ran out of power, so I've got 35 minutes on that. I've set it to high bitrate now. So yeah, it does overheat. Does it overeat as bad as the Osmo Action 2? No, I don't think so. Never owned one, but looking at what people reviewed at the time. Um, is it disappointing? Yes. Is it going to affect my ability to use the camera? No, because the majority of the time, this little thing is going to be connected, say, to suction cup. And that is going to be fastened to the windscreen of my car or side of my car, doing action shots, things like that. And then obviously I can re remote control it from the actual dock itself. Um, so yeah, for me, it's absolutely perfect for what I need. Is it going to be perfect for you? I have no idea. Is the overheating going to be an issue for you? I have no idea. All I've done is shown, like a few other people have, that it overheats. It's very disappointing that when I went on and watched all the early review videos from the top YouTubers that had obviously had this thing sent to them by DJI a month ago, two months ago, whatever it was. Obviously, it just shows you that a lot of people on YouTube are in it for the money. And I hate to say it, aren't necessarily being completely truthful with us. 
That is a real shame. I follow a lot of people. I'm not going to name and shame on here. I follow a lot of tech gadget reviewers on YouTube. I love watching the videos. Um, very disappointed that literally none of them said anything at all about it overheating. And they must have done. A lot of them are from America. A lot of them are from far sunnier and warmer climes than they are in England at the moment. And they, they probably had worse overheating issues than I had. Um, and that's a real shame. Um, up to you if you buy it. I like it. It's perfect for what I want. If you do buy it, I hope it uh, suits you and does you proud. And let's look forward to the Osmo Action 6 and to see what that does. As always, until next time, thank you for watching. A thumbs up would be great. By all means, subscribe. But most importantly, until next time, stay safe.